Hello everyone, in this construction video we are going to copy a triangle using the side angle side congruence theorem. So here's our setup, we have triangle ABC and this is the triangle that we want to copy and we're going to start just with a vertice D. So point D is going to act as the same as point A. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure our length with our compass from A to B. Just put an arc there and we're going to transfer that over here to our point and we're going to put an arc right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take our straight edge and we're just gonna draw a line through our point with our arc and we can put a point right here and we can call that point E, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy an angle. So we're gonna copy angle A. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna put the needle on A and we're gonna draw an arc that intersects both parts, both sides of our triangle and we're gonna copy that arc over here. Okay, so that's step one. All right, and then step two, now we're gonna put the needle down here at our intersection, and we're gonna make a little arc right here. Okay, now we're gonna keep our compass open the same amount, and we're gonna draw that arc right over here. Okay, so now that gives us our intersection where we start at point D, and we draw our line through that intersection. I'm gonna draw this one kind of long, uh, just so that we have room to measure the length of side AC, okay? Now we're gonna put the needle on A and we're gonna measure the last side of our triangle. And we put our arc right there, keep our compass open the same amount, put the needle on D, and we put our arc up here on the line that we just created, okay? And now we can draw, if we want to, we can put a point right here at this intersection and we can call it point F. And now we're gonna draw our last side from point F to point E. And so now what we've created is a congruent triangle by the side angle side congruence theorem. Because we measured this side, we constructed this angle, and we measured that side. So by definition, we would say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DE. F, and that is how you copy a triangle using the side-angle-side congruence theorem.